What will be the punishment of the thief if he steals from the Islamic point of view, the definition of theft in Islam and the conditions for knowing theft, in general, taking someone else's property secretly is called theft. In terms of Islamic Sharia, theft is defined as theft by an adult, sane and sane person from a safe place of property worth nisab amount owned or occupied by another, conditions for punishment of thief in Islam. The following eight conditions must be present for the punishment of cutting off a thief's hand as a sharia provision for theft. They are dash, 1, the thief is an adult, healthy and of sound mind, 2, the thief is a permanent resident of the Islamic State. 3, possession of property by a thief for the purpose of theft, 4, knowingly interfering with the property of others, 5, stealing voluntarily and by temptation, 6, the thief and the owner of the property should not be related by blood, 7. The thief does not have his own ownership of the stolen property, 8. The thief's knowledge of the prohibition of theft in Islam, punishment of theft in Islam. If the thief steals and it is proved by witness evidence, oral confession, oath and sign evidence, then his hand will be cut off according to the provisions of Sharia. The Holy Quran declares, cut off the hands of both the male thief and the female thief. It is a reward for what they have earned and an example from Allah. And Allah is almighty and all-knowing. Surah number 5, verse number 38 of Al-Quran. The scholars of all generations of the Muslim Ummah agree on cutting off the hand of a thief. However, there is some difference of opinion among the Mujtahid Imams as to which hand should be amputated. According to the Imams of the four schools of thought, the first time theft is proven, the right hand should be cut from the wrist. But if the same person steals a second time, his left leg must be amputated. There is a difference of opinion among the Imams as to what is the punishment for stealing a third time. According to the Hanafi and Hanbali Imams, the punishment for third time theft is to keep the thief in prison. And according to the Maliki and Shafi'i Imams, the punishment for theft for the third time is the amputation of the left hand and for the fourth time the punishment for theft is the amputation of the right leg. If he still steals, he should be detained in jail.